channel and welcome to my new subscribers i am so grateful for you all before we begin don't forget to follow me on facebook instagram and tiktok at cam tiami crochet let's get started so i'm going to get started with my tools here i have this pretty lime green yarn here and i got it off of timu it comes in a package of five and this is the name um, that's on it, scarf line. It's funny because the label comes backwards, so I'm thinking maybe it's not the name of the yarn, but they just needed something to hold the skin together. <laughs> but whatever. So they're saying that it's a um, what did they say that it's bamboo and cotton? But I don't know about that. I think it's more of like a cotton than anything. But I'm going to use two strands of these. And so I have a pair of scissors and I have my 4.5 millimeter hook and you're going to need three stitch markers. Now you don't have to use stitch markers like this. You can use a bobby pin, you can use a paper clip, whatever you have to stay in the stitch. So I also forgot to mention that I you want to use your measuring tape and measure around your bodice. If you already know your um, bodice size, usually it's the same size as your bra. So whatever size that is, we're going to continue. I'm a 34B, so I need to make 96 chains. And I'll be back. Okay, so I have my yarn here, and I'm going to go ahead and make 96 chains. We're making an even amount of chains because... We want to skip the first chain, which is our turning chain. So that will give us 95 chains. So go ahead and make your 95 chains. I'm going to make my 96 chains, sorry, and I will be back. Okay, so I have my 96 chains here. I'm going to go ahead and skip the first chain. The loop on your hook does not count as a chain. So you want to skip that first chain and then go ahead and start making your single crochets. So skip your first stitch and make your first single crochet. This is row one. And I will meet you back when I have 95 single crochets. Okay, so I'm at the end of the row and I'm putting my last single crochet into this final stitch here. So now we have row one, which is 95 single crochets. So chain two and turn your work. Now with a double crochet, I only chain two. The standard is three, but if you want to chain three, that's completely up to you. You can do that. So now we're going to begin. This first chain right here does not count as a double crochet. So go right into your next stitch with a double crochet. And this is going to be our second foundation row. Just a bunch of double crochets going across. One into each stitch. When you come to the end, you should have 95 double crochets. So I'm going to continue and I will be back. Okay, so I have my 94 single crochets. And I'm going to go, I'm sorry, double crochet. I'm going to go into this last stitch with a double crochet. So we can continue on with our pattern. So once you've made your last double crochet, we're going to go into our next stitch. I want you to chain four, one, two, three, four, and then turn your work. Now we're going to go into our next stitch, which is the mesh stitch. So once you've chained four and turned your work, this chain here counts as a double crochet. So you're going to skip that first stitch and then go into your next stitch with a double crochet. 
Once you've made your double crochet, go ahead and chain one and then just repeat that process again. Skip one, go into your next stitch with a double crochet and then chain one again, skip the next stitch and put a double crochet into the next stitch after you skip. And that's going to be your pattern all the way across. Make your double crochet, chain one, skip one, and then go into the next stitch. So I'm going to continue on and I will meet you down at the end of the row. Okay, so I'm back at the end of the row. I've made my last double crochet, well, my next to the last double crochet and chain one. So now I'm going to go right into that chain space that we made from the previous row with a double crochet. And we're only doing this because this chain counts as a double crochet in the beginning and the end. Okay, so now we're going to make another row of the mesh stitch. So when you've made your last double crochet of the row, you're going to go ahead and chain four again. One, two, three, four. Now turn your work and go back into your stitches with another row of mesh stitch. Remember that this chain does count as a double crochet. So you want to skip that first stitch and go into the next stitch with a double crochet and chain one. So you're just repeating this mesh stitch again like you did in the previous row. And when I'm done, I'm going to meet you at the end of the row and I will be back. Okay, so I'm at the end of the row now and I'm going to make, I've made one, I'm getting closer to the end. So go into that next stitch with your double crochet and chain one. Now again, you're going to go back into that chain that you made from the previous row. Just put your hook into the bottom stitch, the bottom chain and make your double crochet down there. And that's going to be your mesh stitch for this row. See how nice and lined up that is? And I always notice that when you make three chains for a double crochet, it kind of pokes out the side. So that's why I only do two. So now I go ahead and make two chains and then turn your work. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make some rows of double crochets. And we're going to divide our top into three sections. So let's do our double crochets. Once you've made your chain two, go ahead and turn your work. Remember, I only chain two for a double crochet. Now we're just simply going to make some double crochets. So that chain two does not count as a double crochet. So you're going to immediately go into that chain one space that we made from the previous row. This is your first double crochet because that chain does not count. So you go into every space, go into that next double crochet next to that chain one space and make a double crochet. Once you've made that double crochet, go into the next chain one space and make another double crochet. You are not chaining in between these double crochets. You're just making a double crochet for each stitch going all the way across. So continue making your double crochets. Make sure you're going into that chain one space as well. And I will meet you at the end. All right, so I'm at the end of the row. Now I'm going to go ahead and yarn over and put my final double crochet into this last chain space. Now we do not go into that chain, into that chain from the previous row because it doesn't count as a double crochet. If at any time you want to not count this as a double crochet, you would go into your first stitch. If you had wanted to count that as a double crochet, you would skip this first space and then go right into that next stitch with a double crochet. But then that would leave a gap. So you don't want to count this as a double crochet. And because you don't count that chain as a double crochet, it doesn't count here at the end either. And your last double crochet goes into that final stitch. So now we have our 95 double crochets going across. Now I'm going to go ahead and incorporate 
the stitch markers. Now, I don't know if I said this earlier, but you don't have to use these type of stitch markers. You can use a paper clip, a bobby pin, uh, uh, anything that's going to go into the stitch so that you have a reference mark. So now, if you're following the pattern as I am, you want to divide this 95 by 2, which will give you 47.5. So you want to take one of your stitch markers and put it in the 48th place. And the reason that is, is because you have a, your uh, 95 divided by 2 is 47.5. So you want to put it in the 48th stitch up to make up for that 0.5. And that will be your middle section of your crop top. What you do want to do on the ends, or you want to count from your beginning stitch, from your first stitch you want to count all the way over to uh, 23.75 and put that well you want to put it in the 23rd stitch and that the reason that is again I'm saying the 23rd stitch it's the 24th stitch you want to put your stitch marker in again okay and the reason that is is because your total 47 divided by 5 is 23.75 so you want to put that in the 24th place and you just do the same thing on the other side with your stitch marker just count all the way up to the 24th place and put your stitch marker in there so I'm going to go ahead and do that if yours is different then you have to divide differently if yours is a little bigger or smaller than mine but for those who are following me go ahead and following my pattern go ahead and put your stitch marker in those places I'm going to do the same and I'll be back okay so I have all my stitch markers in their place so now, if you want to make sure that you have everything in place in the right place, go ahead and fold your project in half. And then you'll see everything will line up perfectly. That stitch is right in the middle. That yellow marker is right in the middle. And those blue and pink ones come right together perfectly. Okay, so let's continue on. So now go ahead and grab your hook and I just want you to, um, I don't normally chain when it comes to making single crochets, but if you're more comfortable with, with chaining, that's fine. The only time I chain for a single crochet at the end of the row is if a pattern calls for it. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my first stitch with a single crochet. And you want to make one single crochet into each of your stitches until you get to the end well not to get to the end but until you reach your stitch marker so i'm going to keep making my single crochets and i'm going to meet you right before that stitch marker okay so we're now at the stitch marker let's go ahead and remove stitch marker and now you're going to put your Final double crochet into that stitch mark where that stitch marker was, and then put your stitch marker back. And now continue on. So now we're going to switch into some double crochets here. Do not chain. Just go ahead and yarn over and go right into your double crochet into that next stitch. And then keep going along with your double crochets. And I'm going to meet you a couple of stitches before that stitch marker. Okay, so now I am three stitches away from that stitch marker. So I'm going to go and make one more double crochet. Okay, and we're going to skip these two chains here. And we're going to chain. Eight. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you're going to skip these two stitches and your stitch marker and then another two stitches on the side and make your double crochet on the other side. So go ahead and yarn over and then go right into that stitch over there. So again, you're going to skip two stitches, stop two stitches before your uh, stitch marker, make your double crochet, chain, did I say eight? 
chain eight and then go right over to the other side skip those two stitches again and your stitch marker and go in with a double crochet on this side double crochet make the rest of your double crochets of right your last double crochets goes before that stitch marker then into the stitch marker section you will make single crochets going across i will meet you right before that last single crochet Okay, I'm on my last stitch here and I'm going to go in with my single crochet. Now for this next row, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, the next row will be seven. For that next row, we're going to go ahead and we're going to, no, I'm sorry, go ahead and turn your work. If you want to chain one, you can do that. We're going to repeat this round again. So you're going to go into your first uh, stitch with a single crochet. And then keep making your single crochets across. Until you get to that stitch marker. Put your last single crochet into that stitch marker. Go ahead and continue making your way with some double crochets. And I'm going to meet you right here a couple of stitches before that chain space that we made. So I can show you what to do next. Okay, so now we're back, and as you can see, I have three more double crochets to go. So I'm going to put my last double crochet in here. And now we're going to skip these two double crochets. We're going to chain six, three, four, five, six, and then go right into that chain section with two single crochets. And pick that sucker up if you need to, just to keep those stitches nice and neat. And then go back in again with another single crochet. And now chain six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now skip these two again and go into the next stitch with a double crochet. Okay, so that's what she should look like so far. So you skip two stitches here. You want to make your last double crochet right here. Go ahead and chain six. Put two single crochets into that chain space. And then make another six chains. Skip two. And then go into that third one with a double crochet. And now just keep making your double crochets going across. And then once you get to your stitch marker, at your stitch marker, you're going to start your single crochets. So right where that stitch marker is, you put your first single crochet, make your way all the way over. This is the last time we're going to mess with this, uh, this side panel here. This is the side that goes up under your arm towards the back. So we're going to stop and this will be the last time we mess with this row. So I will meet you right here and we'll go from there. Okay, so now I'm at that last single crochet here. I'm going to put that in there. And like I said, we're going to stop working on these side panels here because we want them to stay nice and low. We don't want them to come up any higher than this. So go ahead and grab scissors. I love these scissors. They're very good safety scissors. So they collapse and you just push the ends in. Not to do all that. I'm just being extra. But you just push the sides in and that keeps it nice and secure so you don't cut yourself. I think this is a part of a kit that I bought. I, I don't remember. But let's go ahead and Break off a yarn, cut off a good length of yarn, so you can weave it later, or you can weave it in now if you want to, before you continue. Go ahead and pull that through, and let's continue on. Facing forward, so let's remove that stitch marker from that single crochet, and then go right into that double crochet, and add your yarn. And let's go ahead and get that through there and yarn over and go back into that stitch with a double crochet. Ooh, I had it. Okay. And now make some double crochets going all the way across. Make sure that you're crocheting in that yarn that you don't have to worry about um, uh, putting it back in there. Um, What's the word? Weaving it in. So um, go ahead and make sure that you're putting in those uh, 
that extra yarn with your double crochets that you're making and so just continue making your double crochets and we're going to stop at this uh, at the very last double crochet i'll be back and i'm going to show you what to do from here okay we're still on the last double crochet let's go ahead and put that double crochet in there and now we're going to chain three go into that next space right here before those two single crochets that next chain space you're going to make one single crochet chain two and then go into this next single crochet with a single crochet curve come on okay and then in the next one with a single crochet Okay, see what that looks like. And then chain two. Was it two or three? Okay, so, <laughs> and then go into the stitch, the chain stitch space with a single crochet and chain three. And then jump right into that double crochet on the other side. And there you have it. Okay, so now we're going to continue on. And I want you to make some double crochets going all the way across to that last double crochet. When you get to that last double crochet, go ahead and chain two and make your way back over. And I'm going to meet you right here, two stitches before we get to that middle part. So I'm back and I'm two stitches before that middle section. So you want to skip these two single, I mean these two double crochets here. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Go into the next single crochet, which is right here, and make a single crochet. And then chain three, one, two, three. Go into that single crochet right here. And then into that next single crochet right next to it. Chain three, one, two, three. Go into the next stitch with a single crochet. And then chain five again. One, two, three, four, five. And then skip those two double crochets and go into the next with a double crochet. So now, just like you did on the other side, you're going to make your double crochets going across. When you get to your last double crochet, go ahead and chain two. And then make your way back over this way and stop right here at this spot again. Two spaces, two spaces before you get to that middle section. Okay, we're at the end of the row here and we're going into our middle section. Make sure that you have 17 double crochets going this way. Um, yeah, make sure you have 17 double crochets on each side. We're just going to be working back and forth. Now when you have your last double crochet in there, I want you to go ahead, we're going to go into that chain space right here before that second single crochet. So go ahead and chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then go right into that chain space in between those single crochets with a single crochet. And chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then go into that next chain space with a single crochet. And the same thing we did over here, chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and now go right into that double crochet, into that first double crochet with a double crochet.
Okay, now just continue on with your double crochets all the way across. You should still have 17 double crochets when you get to the end. When you get to the end and go into your last double crochet, go ahead and chain two and turn your work again. And I'll meet you right before that middle. Okay, so I'm back and I went ahead and made my double crochets across. Remember, you should have 17 double crochets going across. So now I'm back at that middle section here. And we're going to go ahead and chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And go right into that chain space in the middle there with a single crochet. Chain eight again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And skip right over to that double crochet. And make a double crochet. Now go ahead and continue with your double crochets. When I get to this in here, I'm going to go ahead and put her on the mannequin so we can see what she looks like so far. So go ahead and make your double crochets over here, chain two, and I'll be back with her on the mannequin. Okay, so this is what she's looking like. And that is the front part. I went ahead and put a pin there so you can at least see what that design looks like as we go. And this is what she looks like on the sides. I have some pins there and then on the back. Now there is a gap there and that is what I wanted. Um, my mannequin is a bit wider than I am, but we're going to work that back portion. We're going to put some ties on that back portion there. Ignore the skirt. That is another tutorial. But this is what she's looking like so far. Okay, very nice design there on the front. It's coming together very nice. So let's go ahead and continue with our project. Okay, okay, so we're back onto our table. And we're going to go ahead and chain two. And continue on making our way across. So now you want to chain, turn your work once you've made, uh, once you chain two. And go ahead and continue with your double crochets. So remember, that first double crochet does not count. So go into that first stitch with a double crochet. You should still have 17 double crochets going across. So I'm going to make my 17 double crochets. And I will meet you right. Okay, so I'm back. And I have two stitches left before I get to the end. We're going to double crochet these two stitches together. So to do a double crochet together, to, to crochet two stitches together, go ahead and yarn over, go into your first stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two only, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through all three. And that is how you crochet two stitches together. I do have a tutorial on how to do that, on how to do that for every stitch, your single crochet, double crochet, and so forth. So now we're going to go back in. We're going back into our middle section here. So go ahead and chain eight again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And go right into that double crochet, I mean that single crochet with a single crochet. Chain eight again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now remember we have to double crochet two stitches together. So make your way to the other side. Yarn over, go into that first stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two only. Yarn over, go into the next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through all three. Oops. Okay, so now just continue on. You should have 16 half double crochets when you get to the end. 
and I'm going to make my way over, chain two, and make my way back. And I'll make sure you get the end of the row again. Now we're going to go ahead and chain 12. Make sure that you have your 16 double crochets because remember we double crocheted those two stitches together in the previous row. So you want to make sure that you have 16 double crochets going across. So we're going to get back to that middle section there. Go ahead and chain 12. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now take your stitch, your hook and go all the way across. You're skipping all of this section here and go right into the next double crochet with a double crochet. Now just continue making your way over with your double crochets. When you get to the end, go ahead and chain two and make your way back over this way. And I'll meet you right before that long chain. Okay, we're back at that middle section again. Now I want you to go ahead and chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And go into that middle section with three single crochets. That's one. Two and three. And go ahead and chain five again. Oops. One, two, three, four, five. And go right into that next stitch. And a double crochet. Okay. Now just continue making your way over. And then come back, make sure you chain two, and then come back to that middle section, and I'll meet you right here. Okay, so we're back. This is going to be our final row. So I'm at that stitch before our um, middle space. Go ahead and chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And go into that middle single crochet, I mean single crochet, right, of the ones, the three that you made, go into that middle single crochet with a single crochet. Chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and go right over to the next stitch with a double crochet. So now since this is the last row, go ahead and make your double crochets across. You don't have to chain two now because we're ending the row. So go ahead and make your double crochets. You, just, you should still have 16 double crochets. When you get to that end, go ahead and bind off and cut off your yarn. And I'll be back to show you what to do next. Come back. And I've weaved in all of my ends. And I am on the correct side of my crop top here. So now you want to take your hook. And put it into that very last double crochet that you had on the end of your row. Go ahead and add your yarn. Make sure that this is long enough so that you can weave in those ends. Go ahead and slip stitch in there. And let's make our chains. So we're going to make 100 chains. 100 chains on this side. And 100 chains on this side. Because we want it to be able to wrap around your neck comfortably so for me i'm going to do 100 on each side if you need to add more you can do that just add more chains on there until you're comfortable with how it meets up so i'm going to go ahead and make my chain and i'm going to make 100 chains here i'm going to make my 100 chains on this side and I'm going to make my 100 chains on this side. And I'll be back to show you what to do. Okay, so I decided to only make 50 chains. I figured 100 would just be entirely too long. But you do as many as you need to. I want to show you how to weave in that yarn when you start your chain. And go ahead and add on. I want to show you how to weave in that yarn. So as you can see, it's poking out in the back of the stitch here. So I want you to take... And go ahead and use your darning needle and go back into that same stitch. 
but you're going to go through back. So you're going to come around and go into the stitch and then pull your yarn through so it can be nice and secure on that side. See that? Now just do it again and do it on the other side. And just keep doing that. So come on this side and do it again. I'm just going to make it nice and tight and keep that stitch in there. And then one more time on the other side. Okay. Now you just flip it over to the back. And go ahead and weave in the rest of your yarn. So I'm going to weave this in and then I'm going to come over and do this side here and I'll be okay. So I have my ties ready to go for the upper part of my crop top. Now we're going to work on these sides here. I'm going to work on the sides. These are fairly easy. We're not going to make these very long. We're not going to make our um, chain very long for these. Grab your hook. And put it into that very first single crochet, just like we did with the top of our crop top. And go ahead and add your yarn in there. Make sure you keep that nice and long so you can weave that in when you're done. Go ahead and slip your yarn into that first single crochet. And now let's make 10 chains. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And then go ahead and make another 10 down here. And then on this side, do the same thing. 10 at the bottom, 10 at the top. I think I'm actually going to change that and make it 20. So instead of doing 10, go ahead and make each of your ties 20. So this is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You may not need it that long, but go ahead and test it out for yourself and try it on before you weave in your ends. To make sure that you have it correct. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other three corners of this project. This one here and the other two on this side. And I'll be back and I'll actually have it on the mannequin ready to go. Okay, so we are done and this is what she looks like. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. And this is the side. Let me turn it around for you. That's what the side looks like. All the stitches are nice and even and nice and lined up. That is why I do not chain three with a double crochet because it lines up better when you only chain two. So that's the sides. And let's look at the back. And there she is. Those are those ties. You can make it much tighter if you want to or make your strings longer if you want. That is completely up to you. And here is the back ties here. And that's what she looks like. So I want to thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Cam Time Handmade Creations, rather Cam Time Handmade Crochet. Have a great day. Bye-bye.